doesn't matter. <laughs> oh shit, okay. <laughs> Tattoo man. I'm Sergeant David Swinton and I am the team leader for Alpha Team. My unit is Mobile Reconnaissance Company, 2nd Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion. And my hometown is Ann Arbor, Michigan. I am a radio operator. Today we are using the Puma uh, to live stream everything that we're doing back to the fleet and using it also to help the Swedes here uh, walk their mortars onto targets. The employment of my equipment is useful because it gives commanders uh, an eye on the ground, an eye in the sky, uh, hundreds of thousands of miles away. Uh, we will employ this equipment in AE-22 by how we are right now, which is using it to give the Swedes uh, directions, uh, working it with their FOs, so their Ford observers, so they can see what they're shooting at, and then uh, streaming it back to give our commanders in the rear eye on the sky and what's going on. During Archipelago Endeavor 22, the employment of our system is useful. It gives a, the Puma operator has the ability to show the commander an eye in the sky on the battlefield and better employ his troops. Doing this jo joint training in the archipelago is extremely beneficial to us. Uh, it's an environment that we cannot get stateside, and with weather we cannot get stateside. So we're taking uh, uh, systems that we've used out there, using them here, and it's a adding a whole new slew of challenges to what we do. We are overcoming challenges in the archipelago by integrating with the Swedish Marines, learning how they do things, and applying it to how we do things, and being able to take this knowledge back to the fleet when we head back to Camp Lejeune. Our training has improved our capabilities in the archipelago, Due to the fact that we have to work so disaggregated, um, working not together and you can't just walk or drive to the next site, it's an island hop. It shows how we cannot be so reliant on vehicles and we have to figure out how to man pack everything out and make it work over islands. This joint training improves our capabilities in the archipelago. Due to the fact that we're so disaggregated and have to work in small teams, we're giving more information to the commander and having to overcome challenges uh, in smaller groups.